I've carried most of my life the sense of failing every woman I interact with. Will Smith is getting candid like never before, admitting that he feels like he's failed every woman in his life. Really, at the end of the day, it's just not quitting, you know? The actor sits down with Oprah Winfrey during Friday's episode of The Oprah Conversation on Apple TV Plus and opens up about his new memoir, his deepest insecurities, biggest life lessons, and marriage. There's something about you now. I want to tell the truth. I want to let people have it. And in a sneak peek at the chat, it seems safe to say it's no holds barred. I'm laying on the floor in a jail cell, and I'm like, what is happening? I haven't talked about that publicly. That must have been some family meeting. <laughs> and while the 53-year-old multi-hyphenate has had a lot of success, he reveals one area where he's felt failure. I've carried most of my life the sense of failing every woman I interact with. This all comes a day after a new excerpt was released from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air star's new memoir, Will, where he admits he fell in love with his Six Degrees of Separation co-star, Stockard Channing, while working on the 1993 film while he was newly married to his first wife, Cherie Zampino. Quote, Cherie and I were in the first few months of our marriage with a brand new baby, and for Cherie, I can imagine that this experience was unsettling to say the least. And to make matters worse, during shooting, I fell in love with Stockard Channing. Will adds that his marriage to Cherie was off to a, quote, rocky start, and after filming on the movie Wrapped, he found himself, quote, desperately yearning to see and speak to Stockard. E.T. was there in 1993 when Will was promoting the film. He praised Stockard for helping him prepare for the role. What was great with Stockard Channing, she was able to give me insight into how a lot of different people have done the characters. As for Cherie, who shares a 28-year-old son, Trey, with Will, she told E.T. back in 2020 why she doesn't mind living with a label of Will Smith's ex-wife. You know, it's not my label, and I can't control the labels that other people, you know, put on me, but the reality is that is a part of my history. You know, it's a part of my history. But I don't, I, I'm not behind anybody. I'm not in anybody's shadow. And um, so I, I don't, I don't mind. Like, it could be worse. The marriage didn't work, but we are a success. You know, the love that we have for each other, the, the co-parenting journey, and, and not doing it perfectly, but being effective and being an example for other people. So we're, we're, we're I'm, I'm, I'm a part of his greatest success. And in a clip from the upcoming chat with Oprah, Will opens up about finding love after heartbreak. God put the greatest things in life on the other side of your worst fears, you know? And that being able to step into those fearful places, you know, love being the most fearful place you'll ever try to step into. That Thank unconditional you. love where, you know, to be able to open a broken heart again. Thank you.